Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Breaking news, Nigerians. Truth is finally out. Governor Akero Dulu didn't die of leukemia in Lagos. See what led to his death. The Ondo state government has revealed the deadly disease Ondo governor battled with before his demise. Recall that Mr. Rotimi Akeridulu demise was announced on Wednesday. The governor, who was 67 years old, passed away in a hospital in Germany where he had been receiving treatment. The news of his sudden passing away shocked many Nigerians who had been following his health condition since he was reportedly diagnosed with leukemia, a type of blood cancer in January 2023. The governor had been a three-month medical leave to undergo treatment in Germany and returned to Nigeria in April 2023. He had assured his supporters that he was recovering well and that he would continue to serve the state and the nation. However, after his demise, the Ondo govern government revealed that the governor was not suffering from leukemia, but rather prostate cancer a common cancer among men that affects the glands that produce semen. According to sources close to the governor, he had been battling the disease for several years but kept it a secret from the public. The disease had progress to an advanced stage and had caused severe complications that eventually led to his passing away. The state government confirmed the governor's demise in a statement titled, It is a sad day in Ondo State. Signed by the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Mrs. Bamidele Ademola Olatiju, the statement described the governor as a beloved leader who had dedicated his life to the service of God and humanity. The statement also expressed gratitude to President Bola Tinibu, who had supported the governor during his illness and informed him of his demise. The statement said that the family and the state government would announce 
the funeral arrangements soon. Mr. Akerudolu was a renowned lawyer and a politician who has served as the Attorney General of Ondo State from 1997 to 1999. He was also a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, and a former president of the Nigeria Bar Association. He was elected as the governor of Ondo State in 2016 under the platform of the All Progressive Congress. He was re-elected for a second term in 2020 after defeating his main rival, Yitayo Jegede of People's Democratic Party, PDP. As the governor of Ondo State, he initiated several developmental projects and policies such as the Ondo Niyi Industrial Hub, the Ore Flowover, the Ondo State Security Network Agency, and Motekun, the Ondo State Health Insurance Scheme, and the Ondo State Education Improvement Quality Assurance Agency. He also championed the cause of regional integration and national development as the chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum. The governor was widely respected and admired for his courage, integrity, and vision. So guys, what are your views on this? I want to say here that the demise of Governor Akeru Dulu has left a huge gap in the political landscape of Ondo State and Nigeria. According to many Nigerians, he will be remembered as a leader who fought for the welfare and progress of his people and as a patriot who contributed to the growth and stability of the nation. May his so rest in peace. So guys, kindly share your thought on the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.